Hey guys, it's Vernie here. Another Tuesday, another Vault. I think this is Vault Week 5 for Dragonflight Season 2. And last week we got a lot of dungeons done because it was the uh, weekly event. It was to do four Mythic Dungeons and you got a Heroic Raid piece, which is pretty good. So I did it, as you can see, on a bunch of my alts. Didn't get too much raiding done, but we got a couple characters here and there. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I think I have a box for every single character, even my little rat warlock, which I haven't played in, oh, I don't know, like two months. Let's get her started. My warlock is like 380. It's pretty shit gear. Has no tier from last season. I could probably like craft up to 400 if I wanted to. I just, I haven't bothered. Yeah, I did four. I, I beat the tank. We were happy with beating the tank in that dungeon. We did a plus two. It's going to be like a four, 15 piece, and pretty much anything except for shoulders would be an upgrade. So, let's go. A crit haste ring. I don't think the stats are very good, but you know what? I'm pretty sure it's better than a 389. So, you go with it. Wowie, what a start. <laughs> and next, I, mean, I guess we'll just do all my one keyers. You know, a couple of these characters I didn't do the weekly on just because I haven't been playing them as much. I haven't really felt the need to bother. So I think my Hunter, my Warlock, my Paladin, my Mage are all one box vaults. Some of the others are a little more exciting at least. Did the Catalyst come out this week? I didn't see a Catalyst quest. We'll have to go check that out. I, I was uh, under the assumption the Catalyst would come out this week. My Hunter? Just looking for a weapon. Weapon or even... Well, it's not a weapon. Uh... Hmm. These stats aren't very good. They are on a better track than my normal boots from Raid. I guess we'll take them. I don't really know if I'll use them. Sort of an upgrade. For now, I guess it's, what, seven item levels? Yeah, so... Sure. Alright, I'm gonna go to the Mage. And again, these are just characters that I'm kind of like slow rolling into gear with, you know, a vault every week with the idea that in a month or two I'd be able to actually play them. Nothing serious planned as of yet. So I'm gonna be honest, Frost Mage is fucking boring. And I did what? A 12? So it's a 4. It's either a 437 or 434, I'm not sure which. I mean, pretty much anything is gonna be an upgrade. Not boots. How about not boots or not cape? legs. I mean, we could take those for Catalyst Fodder. Sure. And they're indestructible. Wowie. <laughs> With the transmog. I think I've got two Catalyst pieces now. I'll just keep those down here for later. To find out if the Catalyst is actually in or not. And we've got the Paladin. I've actually been playing a little bit of Prot. Which Prot is... Really, really fucking easy. If you want to get into tanking, Prop Paladin's in a really good spot for that. I'd say it's a pretty beginner-friendly tank. So I'm actually going to open this Prot in the hopes I can get a weapon or a shield. I don't really care about Rat right now. If I care about Rat, I can craft a weapon later. Yeah, it's kind of whatever. A cape. This is the second cape this character's received. Uh, uh, we're taking tokens. Which two tokens does not do a whole lot, but... You know, eventually it'll lead to a socket. Okay, now we can start going to the characters who have a couple slots instead of just one. 
Most of these I just did like mid-level dungeons on. Like all of my characters need worm crests. Um, you know, with like the changes coming in 10.1.5, I'm not super obsessed with getting like the highest vault possible, except for like the two characters I actually play every week. So a lot of these are going to be like kind of low vaults, you know, 434 pieces. But again, over a month, a month and a half, that does add up. I might actually go boom kit for this one. My druid did four. But he did some shitty dungeons, so the last box is pretty, pretty underwhelming. Just looking for a weapon. Tier. Tier would be great for two piece. <laughs> so we got tier, but it's the same piece I have. With speed. Or a helm with terrible stats. But I can catalyze it. Or I could get four tokens for a socket. Because I already have two from a previous week. Uh, I, I, I don't have anything noteworthy to put a socket on. I think I just take the helm and I use it for catalyst fodder. Because these characters do so little content, some of them don't even have pieces to catalyze. So that's not the worst thing in the world. I'll just stick it down here for later. Cool. Alright, I guess we'll do the rogue next. <clears throat> rogue just did 411s, you know, farming worm crests so I can upgrade things. I think I'm at the point where I can farm a little more and I'll start crafting embellishments for some of these alts. Getting like toxic slime boots, frostfire belt on the play characters, etc. Stuff that's going to make more of a difference. But he's slowly creeping up, you know, even with old four piece from last year, he's 425. Well, we're okay with that. So really we just don't want weapons. We have three weapons already. Don't really want rings. I would take a tier piece. Or a good trinket. This trinket's pretty doo-doo, so we'll look to replace that eventually. And then I think we're gonna craft boots and belt, so looking for tier pieces. Mm, okay, 431 pants with very good stats. A 431 trinket. I think this trinket is actually good for Rogue. I think Rogue is one of the only classes it's good on. So now I have to do my due diligence and check. I think it's like one of the better dungeon trinkets. Ooh, it's really bad for sub. What about Outlaw? Uh, I don't even see it on here. Okay, well, that that means it's not very good, so we're not taking that. <laughs> we're going to take the pants. <laughs> Do I have pants to catalyze? I don't, so this, this is a benefit. I can either leave them at crit verse, which is good stats for all three specs, or I can catalyze them for eventual four-piece. Cool. And what do we got next? I guess we'll do the DH. The DH did not do raid this week. Last week I ended up with two piece, which is pretty nice. But didn't do much after that. And this week I only did dungeons on him. I did a 14 and then some 11s for worm crests. So we'll have two dungeon slots. It'd be nice to get a third piece, another weapon. Um. I guess, like, the Chromatic Essence from Raid would be good. I got the Class Trinket last week, which is pretty solid. I already have pieces to catalyze, except for my chest, so a, a big chest would be cool. Ooh, Tear Gloves on the Hero Track. I mean, and a cape. A good ha Havoc cape, actually, but I don't really like Havoc, so we're going to take the gloves. Which means we can get four-piece this week, most likely. Which is a pretty big upgrade. Vengeance does a lot of damage with four-piece, so I'm looking forward to that. We're just slowly creeping up there. You know, 420. We started the season at, like, 393. You know, just been doing weekly vaults. We're cool with that. <clears throat> 
And next, I guess, we will do the DK. The DK also did a bunch of worm crests, and he did three bosses in a raid, which he's... I only did it just because we wanted to get our evokers a chance at legendary, so we went to normal and did the skip. So I did Kazara, Naltharian, and Sarkareth. So I will have a chance at the cape. I looted an Ashkander from normal, so I'll be upgrading that all the way, which is pretty, pretty fucking nice. So really, we don't want a weapon. Where's my Ashkander? There it is right here. So we'll be upgrading this later. I have shoulders already for Catalyst. I have some uh, low chest piece. I have like mid-level legs. So a helm would be great. Don't want a belt. A helm or trinkets, I guess. Or gloves. That's really it. Gonna open as unholy. Those are shoulders, I think. Oh, but here's a helm. Crit haste ring. Won't bother with that. So these shoulders are 424, but I have 441s that I can catalyze. I think I'm going to take the helm just to like hedge against not getting one later, so that I can eventually down the road turn this into something useful. And it is on the hero track, so it will upgrade to 441. Like, yeah, this would give me a tier piece now, but I'm not getting a set bonus. I don't have any other tier pieces, so I think I'm just going to... Do the long play and take Catalyst Fodder. Because if I'm already going to move these to tier at 441, what's the point of taking normal tier? <clears throat> Alright. And we've got the Monk. The Monk did four 16s. It's helping some friends farm some Aspect Crests. So I will have two 441 pieces. And the Monk did craft an embellishment. He's got 447... Uh, toxic Boots. And as soon as I get some more crests, I will be crafting a belt with a Toxic Patch on it and replacing my Flaring Cowl. So ideally, I would love a Helm. I would love Trinkets. I've already got 441 shoulders ready to go. I've got some gloves ready to go. So, chest, a Helm. Um, and Trinkets, that's really it. You know? Would prefer no weapons. Already got tons of weapons. Okay. Bracers. Mastery Haste. Really bad stats. Reverse Crit Ring, which is really good stats. But do I ever drop... Diurn is chosen for that. Okay, let me just do a quick Google. I want to see what the Bracers catalyze into. Is there somewhere that has the off pieces? I can't find anything. They're definitely out there somewhere. I should have this, like, um, bookmarked or something, because I have no fucking clue where it is. Yeah, I can't find it. I thought you could also do it in the appearances or the adventure guide. Let's try that. We'll go to loot. Go to sets. No, it only has the set pieces. Oh, man, I wish I had bookmarked this. Because now I look really foolish. I 
Ah, here we go. Now that's the old tier. Man, come on. Oh, there it is. The okay, bracers are haste mastery, which is exactly what this is, but with inverted stats. Actually, worse inverted stats. So we will be taking the ring, and I guess I will look to replace one of my fire rings from Vault of the Incarnates. Whether that's the fire damage one or the shield one, I don't know. Like, let's look at this last key I did. The ring did, you know, 1.6% of my damage. It's not terrible. And then the healing ring did 9% of my healing, which is pretty solid. I mean, I think I would elect to get rid of this one. The damage is, like, less important to me. And eventually I will be replacing the flaring cow, so I'll have one less source to proc it. Okay, so we're moderately happy with that. <clears throat> what do I have left? Uh, I think we've got the Evoker, the Shaman, and the Priest left. Let's do the Evoker. So I've been playing the Evoker a lot more. Project Orange is still underway. No Legendary yet, but I have been doing some more keys. You know, getting up to the 16 range, which is where healing actually starts. Not to be challenging, but like I have to press some buttons instead of you know, sub-15, there are a lot of keys you can just get away with not pressing anything. So we're 425, we did pick up 4-piece. And last week in the vault, we got Rashok's Molten Heart, and then we got the class trinket from Normal and Raid, so our trinkets are really solid. And we've got 4-piece, obviously, on the Normal track. So I did 4 dungeons, and I did a full clear of Normal, and 5 bosses in Heroic, so we'll have two heroic raid slots, one normal raid slot, and then a 441 and a 434. I mean, what are we hoping for? Um, a really good ring, I guess. A weapon. A chess piece. Uh, a neck, I guess. Like, that's really it. I mean... These tier are going to be hard to replace because most of them are hero track. I guess I could get um, gloves, or not gloves, or shoulders or helm. Okay. Interesting. So we've got a crit versus chest on the hero track, which is 10 item levels better. A mastery trinket, which I don't think is super good for me as a healer. I think it might be good for dev, but I don't know how often I'll play Devastation. This will be upgradable to 447 in a couple weeks. A 434 chest, which is a big item level upgrade. Stats are okay. A cape with avoidance, which I won't be using because I have a spore cloak. Ooh, a crit haste ring with a socket. That's interesting too. But I could also, I have a spark I blew. I could just craft, I could just like update my signet of titanic insight and that would be the same thing. So I think it's between the chest. Well, either chest. I mean, I would just take the raid chest then, right? Like surely. Okay, let me do a quick look at devastation trinkets. Make sure I'm not passing up something ungodly. I think it's a good trinket, but I don't think it's amazing. It is the fourth best trinket. Behind Spoils, Chromatic Essence, Neltharian's Call. Hmm. I mean... I'm not... I don't... I'm not super keen on playing Dev right now, you know? I've, just, I've been playing Prez mostly, but I... F passing this up would definitely hurt a little bit. I think I've just got to take the chest. It's a better track. It's a bigger upgrade. I can get another of these trinkets and upgrade it to 441. It's not a big deal. Maybe a mistake. I don't know. You know, watch tomorrow. I could decide to play Devastation and then not have the trinket. That would suck, but... Some give and take, right? And we've got the Shaman and the Priest left. So the Shaman... Still doesn't have four piece. Would love to see a third piece in the helm or chest slots. And then I could use my Omni token from KSM to get the fourth piece. 
I really don't want to see gloves because I'm putting an embellishment on my gloves. or crafting the Mail 2 set. I did four dungeons last week and a heroic clear, so I'll have three heroic raid slots. Uh, one 444 piece and one 441 piece. We did get the Screaming Black Dragon Scale Trinket out of our, our, our weekly box. I mean, we're really solid on weapons. Uh, our trinket situation is okay. I feel like I should stay enhanced to get a chance at, like, Bomb Dispenser. I would love Beacon. I would love Bomb Dispenser. Chromatic Essence, uh, Tear, Helm, or Chest. I guess that's really it. Eventually I'll replace this ring with something. I haven't really figured out what yet. Maybe... The Neltharian's Layer Ring, which is Haste Mastery, which is Biss Stats. I'm going to be very disappointed if I get a weapon, though, because my, my weapons are pretty kitted. Maybe I should go Ellie for weapons. But then I won't get a Bomb Dispenser. Well, I think we stay enhanced, and if we get a weapon, we get a weapon. <clears throat> Okay, that is a tier chest. It's very good. A slightly upgraded cape. Another chest. That's the ring I was talking about, actually. That would be a very good ring. It's abyss stats. And a cape, which is a downgrade. I mean, it's got to be the tier chest. We can finally get four piece. We've been doing pretty well without it, but I think four piece is going to help us jump up a lot. It makes our AoE go crazy, and it's a pretty decent single target increase for Enhance. Ellie is obviously insane, which I haven't really been playing yet, but maybe now that I have 4-piece, time to start messing around with Ellie some. So cool. We'll equip this, and then we'll go use this token to buy the helm, and we'll be done with that. Very satisfied with that. It's my second, third character with 4-piece. <clears throat> lastly, we've got the Priest. Priest is going to be kind of underwhelming, honestly. I, with these changes that have been announced, I feel like there's almost no point in grinding out 20s unless I want a portal. So I did 120 last week. I got a Neltharian's Lair portal, which is great. We did uh, Heroic Clear. We only killed two bosses in Mythic last week. We had a lot of absences due to just work and family events planned, so we did not get to kill more Mythic bosses, unfortunately. It was kind of sloppy. So really, we're looking for a Chromatic Essence from Raid. Uh, the Cape from Sarkareth. I would take uh, Old Man Neck with max stats. I would take an Old Man Belt with max stats at 447. I would take 447 tier. The upgrades are going to be really, really marginal from this point forward. In fact, I think we should go healing, honestly. One, because there's less bad trinkets in the pool. I can still get all the good caster trinkets like Chromatic Essence. I already have spoils. And I can also get Rash Ox, which would be pretty good for healing. So let's just swap to Holy and open it as that. Okay. Uh, pretty underwhelming. You know, of course, once I have all the tier, that's all I get in my, in my fucking Vault is tier. So we've got Legs... We've got a chest, which is a downgrade. I guess you could, in theory, use that for holy. We've got an okay ring, crit haste, but I think I have rings for my off spec already. I have a haste verse ring. Or a 447 helm. Or I just take a socket. Which where can I put a socket? Belt? Helm? Ah, uh, Pretty boring picks. Okay, is the Catalyst out yet? Let's just double check Wowhead. Is the Catalyst out? Because would I take a 447 Helm over a socket? A socket's getting us, you know, a hundred something secondary stats. And what are we getting from this? 35 int. 
And a little more stats. I mean, I think in theory the 447 helm is better. Just marginally so. And we're going to have so many weeks to get sockets. I just... Really all this does is it saves us aspect crest down the road and we can get the upgrade now instead of waiting for 10.1.5, which I don't know if there's even been a release date announced for that. So... I think... I think we take the helm and we use it for Catalyst. You know, it's in a tier slot that we won't replace on any spec. I've already got one. And Helm is one of the higher statted tier slots, so it's a it's a good spot to be in. Yeah, you know, I think it's Helm, Chest, and Legs are the big slots, so you, you love to see those. So, you know, nothing too super exciting for the Vault. We had some good upgrades on the ults, but the mains didn't really get anything. Again, it's going to be so incremental at this point with upgrades that... Can't really expect too much. Affixes this week. Fortified, Storming, Bursting. Bursting is not amazing. It's not hell, but I'm playing a priest, so Bursting is very doable. Storming, pretty annoying for melee. Kind of a non-deal for ranged. Seems like an okay push week. You know, as long as you have a... If you have a priest especially, it'll be easy. Um, yeah, and I'll probably be streaming more this week. I didn't really stream last week, but I'll try and stream more this week. You know, just doing some dungeons and raid whatnot. Twitch.tv slash Veronix, V-E-R-O-N-Y-X. I think, ideally, I would like to do some more videos. I've just been kind of putting it off. Um, looking at doing maybe guides for how to read logs and how to get better at your character. I'm pretty analytical, so I like that sort of thing. So I'd like to do something on that in the future, if I can get around to it and stop being lazy. But hopefully you guys had some good vaults. Uh, good luck this week, and we'll see you next time. Peace.